Everybody's getting down in this town Ain't never gonna be the same Cause I saddle up my horse And I ride into the city I make a lot of noise Cause the girls, they are so pretty Riding up and down Broadway On my old stud Leroy And the girls say Save a horse, ride a cowboy Everybody says Save a horse, ride a cowboy About nothing, I'm singing and bling blinging while the girls are drinking. Long necks down, and I wouldn't trade old Leroy or my Chevrolet for your Escalade or your Freak Parade. I'm the only John Wayne left in this town, and I saddle up my horse and I ride into the city. I'm All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Free Experience. Right here, it is. 10:22. So I may be getting some text messages. It is from uh, a private charter trip that we're going to be doing. Let's fix this just a little bit. A private charter trip that we're doing in Santa Cruz. So he's texting me. He just got back from a night charter trip. Uh, I think he was going. I want to say it's Benita, but I don't think it's Benita. Benita aren't running yet. He didn't. He make it really quite uh, clear. So I have some stuff right here for um, fun fishing, and of course for um, fishing uh, just about anywhere, mostly a golf course or a pond. And then I have some stuff from the ocean. Which is gonna be cool. So starting off right here, we have Jawbone right here. This is a little frog or a, a hollow body mouse. I always want to try a mouse because I do have one. It's about half this size and has a blade underneath it, and the tail does move. I guess it's not like the Spro. Uh, I do plan on buying one, but I always wear a hat. I'm not wearing a hat right now. So I normally like I throw one. It's called Mr. Sprinkles, and it's uh, created by a company in Japan. And I sent them my um, specifications like I wanted. And then I realized that a different company basically has my exact same design. It's sheer coincidence. I know they didn't just take it like, oh, you have this. Uh, it's basically, it's, like they, it's a custom bait basically. And it catches, I wouldn't say largemouth or smallmouth, but it catches spotted bass, which is kind of funny to throw a mouse and catch spotted bass. So um, since we're on the topic of frogs, right there, it's called the pocket frog. This is in a green tea color by Lunker Hunt. Uh, I absolutely love the color. I have it in... Um, the uh, medium frog and, and the little frog, uh, yeah, the little frog by um, Live Target, but kind of the same color, not really, not really called sweet tea. Here we go, here he is. That was date, time, and uh, it was date, time, what I need, all that stuff. Probably should have waited till the end of the video to answer that, but it's kind of like a need no thing because he's uh he just got back, people are leaving the charter, and um, he's getting he's texting me right now. Actually, I think his deck hands texting me, and there it is. I can't see real. All right, there we go. So his deck hands actually texting me right now, and he's talking about um. What I said before, baits, which we're going to catch or bring, uh, rod, reel, setup, line, all that stuff. So we have this done right here. Boom, look, there's the back, there's the front. I've opened it just to check. I'm not going to open it again because last time I did, I almost um, destroyed it. So since we're on the topic of jawbone and stuff like that, let's go on with uh, two spoons right here. Littler one right here, this is a longer one. And this is a, bit, a, little, bit, uh, a little bit heavier and it's thicker. So this is going to be right here to mimic, uh, of course, a bait fish. Either you cast it out there, reel it, jig it, do what you got to do. I'll wait to the end of the video to actually answer more stuff. That's not really cool. but um, Throwing it, twitch, twitch, twitch. Spoons, in my opinion, are, you get some of you guys say, it's like, is he retarded? Is he special? Is he, does he need help? That's probably true, but uh, I could skip a spoon like a mofo. For some reason, that thing is 
perfect. So I actually do flip docks with spoons. It's kind of weird, you know. What the? Oh my god, guys, that's freaking huge. It's a, like that big. I live in California. There's a giant bug flying around, dude. I'm actually kind of scared. I thought it was a cockroach, but it's not. Oh my god. Oh my god, that thing scared me. Catch that and use it for bait for the golf course. So, um, yeah, I can skip spoons, you know. We'll be at uh, docks out in 60 feet of water, like a marina and stuff. I'm like, I bet just bass underneath that big old, like a 12 by 12, uh, like holding tank or something. Skip that thing in there, let the thing flutter down, or let it pendulum to the, um, to the boat. Wham. They may not be big, large mouth. They're medium, but they're big spots or small mouth. So uh, these are basically for the ocean that I'm going to use right here for jigging around the piers and stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Since we're on the topic of that, right here we have some gulp. That's the smelt, 2.5 inches or 6 centimeters. That's in the smelt color. Absolutely love this. Jig head, drop shot. That's about it. So um, since we're on the topic of ocean, more spoons right here. These are by Kokanee Candy. Um, it, they're, they're, you know, they're meant for kokanee and trout, but the vibrant colors really imitate a, uh, a nice, colorful, dying bait fish. Uh, up next is, of course, some more gulp salt water right here. This is in the new penny. These are ghost shrimp. I have regular shrimps in uh, molting and grass, um, and I also have some sandworms that we'll be using. Those I've had for quite a while. And this right here, we will go with a uh, ball head or a jig head to mimic, of course, or sometimes weightless if they are um, suspended on the pillars. Good, good bait right here, by the way, good bait. Um, last but not least, yep, Optimum Baits right here. This is a little um, minnow-like shad, kind of like bait. It's definitely small. I think it's like only like an inch, 